Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Pukowski here and today we will be talking about calculating the date differences, specifically creating a drop-down or a gallery, it's your choice, where you will only select the working days and exclude the weekdays or even you could then use this collection to exclude national holidays based on the collection you will create. So this is how this looks. This is the gallery. As you see, we have we have weekday uh, work, sorry. As you see, we have working days which are counted from today or tomorrow uh, up to 30 days in the future. So we will get all the working days, as you can see. And we have a drop down which will also select this because this is a this is the the collection which is also used in the gallery. Okay, so how to achieve such a result? Let's create a blank screen and in there let's go with the button and with the gallery gallery. Let's clear everything there. Hop, hop. Let's create ourselves a button, and in this button, we will just create. Let's create a variable. First of all, so let's do a set. Let's go with variable current day, and let's go with the now. This will create, this will essentially create the variable which will have the current date and time. This is important. So now we would need to create our collection. Uh, not collect, let's go with clear collect. And let's call it collection 30 days, <laughs> 30 working days. Sorry, I won't spend my imagination points for creating better name. And now in this collection, we want to have the sequence which will count the days from today forward up to 30 days. And also we would have, we would like to have the, the date which will in the end count, uh, sorry, present the date in the text format. The transfer date. So let's go with add columns. And in there, we want to go with the sequence. Sequence will initiate the formula which will start and based on our criteria, create a table which will be our collection. It's just our crawl collection. So let's go with 30 days. And you can, uh, in this first argument, you will have the number of records we, uh, which we will be creating. You can also have your own calculations. For example, if you have any kind of text input with start and end date, you can calculate uh, this. Uh, you can have this calculation here and based on this, it will create the number of records you want. But for the, uh, in order to simplify this uh, example, we will just create uh, 30 days. So this is, well, let's go with that and let's go with date add and we use the variable which we have var current, current day, yeah, exactly. And for this, we want to add one day because we want to start from tomorrow. It's as simple as that. And now let's end it's okay. Great. Start step. So for step, we would like to create a formula which will add one day to our our function. So for this, you need to know that all those dates will be kept in what is called the x value. If we go back to the screen and you see the value here, this is the value which we created. It's counted in the ticks. 
and ticks are are milliseconds which passed from the set date which was 1601 first of january so this is the date which is counting uh, which is counted from from the date onward and we will use this uh, in our calculation of dates so let's go back to our versal our solution and we want to add a ticks zero, zero, zero. the number of ticks which is essentially add one day so this number is uh, the multiplication which comes from uh, counting from recalculating the milliseconds to one day so this is essentially one day okay so let's close the parentheses let's go also with uh, another argument because we are adding the columns so this sequence will count all the records and place a record in our collection for each presence but we also want to have the another column let's call it data for now and we want to have this column in in text so we use the the double quota okay so this will make uh, us a collection and let's because we have already it's called we've already this named let's go here and let's put it as let's put it as our gallery our gallery source and in there we will create a label with the data with the also the value and let's check let's let's move it here here and let's make this smaller let's also add a border for you to see better so okay great let's go let's click the button and yeah it's working it it already counted the number of ticks from this date I've already told you about and this means that this will be another date as you can see the number is growing and growing and growing and growing and growing so it's working right we have 30 gallery records and what we want to uh, that's let's go it and also this one yeah okay no no other errors which are annoying okay so now we want to get for the bread and butter our formula so we want to count the only the working days and also to present it in the form that the user would like to have so this means that this should be uh let's say day and then the date let's skip all the all the time part of our data so let's go let's go with for all let's use our collection let's go with the patch function because we want to patch our collection for all the records that are that are there let's use our collection again and this record to count the to use the record which we are currently working on of the collection working days cool and let's use let's change the data which we created for this specific reason let's go with the text because we will be changing to from date uh, time to text uh, data format and we want to use this record value and let's go with the format so in if you are in the us you will use the format what do i have the sign here you will use the english and us 
notation. So this will like this. Let's go with the day and then the regular date, which will be like this. Okay, great. So let's close our parentheses. Hmm. This one. Yeah, okay. This is closing this one. This is closing this one. This is closing this one. Semicolon. Okay. We've received an error. And the error is the typical Power Platform error. I've just shown you this in the. I just built this in uh, the wrong uh, format just to show you this uh, this error in particular because we are operating on the same patch function, which is sorry on the same collection, which uh, cannot be done because we will and ourselves in some kind of circular reference. So in order to avoid this, we would have to recreate one of this collection. And this collection should be the, the, the former collection, just, just to use the, this record in the next, uh, in the next uh, formula. So in order to this, we want we know, what we know is that we can filter this collection and just filter everything which is this uh, which is there because filter is basically recreating this collection even though those collections will have same number of records and same type and all the same data this collection in the filter will be different collection and you can use this record it will power apps will know that you are you are using this record from this collection but in order to make this more more readable you can use this in this context you can use the you can use the notation which will create this as an a number or just a, as a as a parent collection it's called part collection then you can use this parent collection and parent collection here Ooh. this will end in the same level because it will know that this is the record okay so what we have here we've just changed our our data part from just one because this is what we Declare it at first uh, creation of this collection. We change this to the date. Let's see if it's working. No, it's not working because I've probably made some kind of typo. Let's go back. Let's go back. And yeah, the typo is here, of course. It's EN for English. Let's go. And as you can see, we have. We have the dates dates here, but our dates aren't aren't functioning properly. So we, as you can see, those are ten days instead of one day. So basically, probably I've just made an error with counting the ticks, and we have ten days more. Yeah, this was this. We have for now we have thirty days calendar. Oops, from eighteenth. November to 17th of December. But this is not what we want. We want to also delay every day, which is Sunday or Saturday for now. So the easiest way to do it is to use the remote, uh, remote, remote remove if function on our collection. And in this function, we want to have the weekday which will return the weekday of our arguments in the form of digits one to seven this is what this this function will, will do and this will need a, a date which let's do it for this record 
dot value and let's close it let's go in and we want only to keep our uh, working days so let's do one two three four five six up up why to uh, from two to six because first day is sun uh, sunday and last day saturday so for one is sunday and seven is saturday this is how we are counting in uh, in united states so this is how it's working so basically what we see that this will remove all the working days but we we don't want to remove all the working days we want to remove all the uh, all the holidays so let's go with the not or you can use the not or you can use the exclamation mark and you can then close this one and let's see if it's working we got friday and then saturday and sunday is skipped from monday to friday again the weekend is skipped so this is our gallery now the easiest thing you can do is to create input in the drop down and we will use our collection working days and we use the we'll use the value the data because we have also the value in the ticks you can ignore this and we can use the, the the value of course if you have different kind of needs you can just change this uh, tag here based on uh, how text, how date is con converted to text, you have different, different kind of, uh, different kind of notations there. You can use it. I will link it in the description. We have already our drop down from which we can select some, something. That's great. That's great. And then you can use it later on with our data. Also, we can do what also you can do is I will just mention it for fast, but you can have this uh, this collection and you can have any other collection which you create on the upstart and in that uh, upstart collection you can remove the, the the specific dates you want you can just use them in the collection the let's say the holidays collection and you can check if this collection date is in that collection and if yes then you can just remove it if no you can keep it that's why that's how you can create the holidays specific to your to your country or to your company etc okay that's it we created the drop down i know that many of you have problems with this and honestly when you understand uh, the science about uh, which is behind it's kind of easy but if you don't the ticks calculation or the the weekday how it's it's uh, used it can be difficult so ho i hope that i've made it easier for you and, well it's being a out you can subscribe like etc if you like the content see you later